Hi guys, so today I am in the official website of Mercedes-Benz Germany. I'm going to explore their configurator and try to build my spec of the new C-Class. So the problem, however, I'm facing is that the English-speaking countries, the UK, the US, Australia, they have not launched a new C-Class yet. So I am stuck with trying to do this in the German page. When I switched to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that car. Yeah. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn less. up! <laughs> So here, this is the C-Class in its most basic appearance. And um, one thing you notice is that Mercedes has dropped the, the, the grille on bonnet front for the C-Class. So all C-Class variants have, the, have this large three-pointed star on the grille. And uh, I think that's, that's, the, that's always been the most suitable look for the C-Class, if you ask me. But this example that you see here, this is the really, you know, base all song spec car with, you know, this, this uh, sorry looking alloys, <laughs> right? Uh, very bare exterior, right? No touches of, it's a, this is basically a taxi spec car, right? It's basically a taxi spec car, a rental spec car, uh, not likely to, to be bought by private buyers okay uh, we will look at engines and uh, the range starts with the c180 which is a 170 horsepower petrol engine uh, paired to a nine speed automatic transmission all right or you have the c200 with a 204 horsepower engine paired to a nine speed automatic transmission as well so you see here there's this plus 20 ps plus 20 ps they represent that these cars have a mild hybrid system that is illustrated by this pink, you know, thing here at the, at the side of the engine. All right, there's also the C220D, which is a diesel with a, with a 200 horsepower engine. And of course, the C300 with 258 horsepower and the C300 diesel with 265 horsepower. But for the purpose of our exercise today, I am going to try it out with the range topping petrol C300 that will do 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6 seconds flat and has a rated fuel consumption of 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometer. Okay, now of course, first thing we want to do is to change the appearance of the car. All right, now one thing I want to show you guys is this. So right now I am changing, this is the, the core song spec exterior, right? Let's change this to avant-garde trim. You see, putting avant-garde trim adds the chrome linings to the window frame. It also adds a chrome lining to the front grille. And uh, if I turn the car around, it adds chrome finishing to the lower edge of the bumper. 
here's the funny thing. When you go from avant-garde to AMG line, the shape of the grille actually changes. So with the AMG line grille, it actually widens at the bottom. Okay. Whereas with the avant-garde and the standard grille, right, it's wide at the middle and then it shrinks below the wings. But here, the grille widens all the way to the bottom. Okay, and of course the uh, the the lower edge of the bumper, there's greater flare of the vents compared to this one. This one is uh, I don't know the standard and the avant-garde bumper a bit too rounded for my liking, but this one goes the other extreme. Uh, a little too much opening here all right so these are the three exterior packages and with avant-garde and amg line you can spec it together with night package and what night package does is that it turns all the chrome lining into into gloss black trim so I'm going to spec my C300 naturally, of course, with AMG line trim. Okay, then ditch the avant-garde exterior and uh, and you will bring me all this. So I can't, I, I, my German is not that good. So some of these things I'm going to be guessworking. But oh god, these wheels are not pretty. Got to work on those wheels. Okay, and uh, I might as well add the night package because it makes the, the car look more more aggressive with the chrome bits darken out and also the uh, night package adds a black that makes the side mirror shiny black as well so we go to the colors uh, this is the basic black color all right schwarz that's black for Ger in german there's the designo hyacinth red metallic this is my favorite mercedes color but it doesn't work quite well with sedan so try another color let's try kevin side blue now it doesn't show the line so well but how about graphite gray metallic ah, a little flat let's look at the most expensive it's like a matte kind of finish actually let's try opalith white hmm how about i'll try mojave silver Okay, somehow I feel this color seems to work best. So I'll go with this one. Uh, I'm not a f I, I don't usually advocate upsizing your wheels unnecessarily, but this this wheel da the I don't like how this thick perimeter of the wheel makes the wheel look smaller than it is. So I would go one size up multi spoke or should i go five dual spoke i think i'll go five dual spoke this is a, a sportier wheel i like to show off the front discs okay so now summer tires sport tires let's choose sport tires and oh funny choosing sport tires requires me to abandon amg line package Ooh, tough choice. <coughs> That's a choice, actually. Um, I would prefer sp sport tires, but I'm trying to also spec something that's relevant to Malaysian market, right? So I think most Malaysian buyers would prefer the C300 to come with AMG line trim, and then go to an outside tire shop and spec, and you know, and change to sport tires. So I'll go with that, and. Uh, this is something unique in Europe. You can uh, you can order your car together with a set of winter tires, and here you can decide whether to fit the winter tires to the car or the summer tires to the car. Here's the option where you have a, you can opt for a tire repair kit or run flats. So I think I would spec in a tire repair kit here. So let's go to the next stage and the light packages so uh the basic system you have adaptive high beam assist that's you no know, high beam to low beam or you have an advanced or high-end light package so basically uh when you go to the advanced with digital light or digital light with projection function uh, you've got 
adaptive high beam assist that basically alters the throw of your high beam based on traffic conditions so that especially if you are often using this car in very dark roads you get maximum illumination of the road ahead without glaring other road users i'll just spec the highest light package this one adds the light package it also needs you to throw in a lot of things the infotainment package the parking package the driver assistance package for the sensors of course reverse camera so this package alone is about 2000 euros but specking it at 7000 euros to the price tag and now i'm already at 63000 euros at this stage in, in my spec sheet so uh panoramic sunroof 2000 euros heated windscreen not that necessary acoustic glass definitely useful you don't need heated windshield nor do you need heated wiper washers here but it's a good thing to have in the winter country all right so earlier on i took the, the advanced light package so this side mirror package is thrown in as standard uh this is the tow the the tow hook all right so why is it a thousand euros because if you specify this the electronic stability program is calibrated with trailer stabilization as well so if you regularly tr pull a trailer with your c-class then this function definitely comes in handy so without charge you can also opt to delete the batch of your c-class which uh yeah well I, I will do that that's something i would do and there's also this this duck lip spoiler here so right now i go back up all right let me just rotate this car to the rear view and i will spec in the spoiler for another 416 euros that's a very subtle way of expressing 416 euros but there you go so this is the amg line interior i'm not a big fan of this steering design but you can see the there's the digital instrument cluster here and uh well this is the design here is basically it carry it, it evolves the current current generation c class theme a design whereby you have the three vents and you have this whole thing like in one continuous visual piece that goes down right a bit like a waterfall if you like and you have this wing structure here the engine starts the button here um but of course it's a big evolution so all this this is condensed into a screen with touch sensitive controls here i believe all right so uh this is amg line interior styles for amg line exterior interior styles for other interior so you can also specify your amg line exterior in conjunction with non-amg interiors which of course i wouldn't do for this exercise um this is the this is an all black design and honestly this is just dull all right it's a uh, very lacking in terms of imagination but wow check this out you've got a red combo this is a more sporty rather than a classy shade of red and i don't like how the red flows this way and out no no this one cannot uh let's try this one brown on black contrast okay how about this oh, this car look a bit taxi like okay, i know so so this this leather na brown napa leather right it's a three thousand euro option and you need to take it together with the advanced comfort pack so let's take it with the advanced comfort pack wow look at the seat pattern now this looks this looks mewa advanced comfort pack high-end comfort comfort package well if you are sharing cars this memory function alone makes this package worth the price of admission uh oh but it means i have to okay so i it means i have to delete the advanced comfort pack actually no this is this is not important what you want is the high-end 
comfort pack with the memory seats. All right, upgrade this. Okay, then you have memory, that you have heating, that you have number support. Uh, you've got split folding rear seats, red seat belts. So this package gives you heating and ventilating ventilating seats with massage function. But you can't have that with the with the Sienna brown leather. It's okay. It's fine. You've got brown interior. I mean, this goes. This will go well with open core wood trim. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a better fit. So I'll go with this one. All right. So this this whole part here, open core wood. Uh, I don't ordinarily dig Mercedes's go up what you call it piano black execution, but in this instance it forms a nice continuous visual unit of the whole center console so i will keep that there all right and uh well i don't need heated steering floor mats wow amg floor mats ah okay la, can la. all right i'm not going to pay 178 pounds for like the door seals la, no way uh and what's this Stan Heizung. This looks like extending the whole touch screen to the full height. So it comes together with thematic climate control. Well, basically, it's dual zone climate control for you. So I have Thermotronic. That's rear zone climate control, which requires me to upgrade the to the advanced infotainment package. All right. So this alone adds. Well, after you take out the infotainment package, in the net net gain will be, I have to add another seventeen hundred euros to the cost, and you see the screen appearance change. So it's now a full height touch screen, and I'm at seventy five thousand euros. Separate coffer room, duckle, virgulum. What is this? Separate trunk lid lock now, not necessary. And let's go to the next. Untried, unfar work. So this is rear view steer. This is sport. This looks like a sports chassis, I believe. This is agility control suspension. And what on earth is, does this even mean? Brake system with larger brake discs on the front axle will not argue with that. Here, this car is already specced with the advanced infotainment package. There's a 2,700 euro option. All right, uh, you can further add on with high end infotainment package that includes MBUX augmented reality for navigation. Basically, what that does is it feeds the, the front wheel into the screen and augments the the directions into there so not necessary la, if you ask me all right so other packages business package advanced infotainment package assistance package uh, this is a merging of various other packages in there so for driver display heads up display is 1000 uh, not necessary i think fingerprint scanner hmm central display live traffic information that's like having ways built into your car but not being able to warn people of roadblocks so this is the augmented reality for navigation and you've got an lte sim card inside the car advanced sound system i'm not one to spend on sound systems to be honest but i suspect we will have the the Burmester 3D sound system for the Malaysian spec, where the C3 is concerned. Um, I would spec USB package plus for sure. And well, wireless charging certainly does not go wrong. Whack those. Let's check out the assistance systems. Driver assistance package gets you blind spot assist. Definitely need blind spot assist. I have to take out the high end light package. No, no, no. Driver assist package. This is driver assist package plus. So I will add that. It's only a 600 euro increase add on from where I currently am at 70, nearing to 78,000 euros. All right, so part package, 
advanced part package and la advanced part package because advanced part package adds 300 degree 360 degree camera so it's an additional 500 euros from where i am so nearing the end uh you've got a fire extinguisher here and taking this opportunity to remind you guys we've got an ongoing uh, pre-order campaign for our very own fire extinguisher 360 ringgit for two um order this on club.evomalaysia.com all right it's a very it's a new very advanced fire extinguisher uh it's small enough that it can keep in, inside a door pocket and uh it's new technology so the advantage that our evo club fire extinguisher has over other regular dry powder fire extinguishers is that uh, unlike dry powder fire extinguishers, this does not damage surfaces, it does not damage electronics, so it's perfect for vehicle use. Alright, so side airbags in, in front, I think this means the side airbags at the door. Okay. So this is Urban Guard, an extra you know, uh, anti-theft feature. Comfort, energizing air control, ambient lighting. Pretty sure that will be something that people would want, but I guess we'll just take the whole package, lah. Well, energizing packet plus. Well, this requires taking out the. Oh, you have to go back to article letter. What? Keyless entry is six hundred and fifty euros. Damn. So this is the air balance package for a bit of scent in the car. So I will spare the uh, air, the energizing packages. All right. And yeah. So let's see what other extras are there. These are for disabled drivers. All right. So all these extra hand controls. These are for disabled drivers. Oh, this is cool. This is like a garage door opener. Huh, I would want to have this to open my auto gates. This is the fuel tank. 50 liter fuel tank for a C class? No way. Cannot. Not acceptable. Man. You have to upgrade it to 66 liters. Come on. This is the new generation key fob. I like the white one. This looks, well, a, a good, you know, upgrade from the current gen key fob. And I have arrived at a car with 80. That's well, close to 81,000 euros. So if I convert this, this would this would convert to that's 400,000. Well, there's no way our Mercedes, our C class will be spec this high because before conversion, it's already 400,000. Right? It doesn't make sense anymore. So, but hey, uh, this is this is the from a starting price of 47, almost 48,000 ringgit. I added, I nearly doubled the price of this car, right, to 80,000 euros. So this is quite, quite insane, now, right? Uh, but anyways, it's all in the name of, of a bit of fun. And uh, I shall save this, all right? I shall get save this link, which I will put into my description section for you guys to check out. And yeah, so that's it for today's video. And until my next one, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in our next show or video or whatever. All right, cheers, guys. Marvelous artificial intelligence skin. <laughs> Word is the name, been born in the chain. Turn on photo watch and keep busy playing chain.